We're Ben and Emily, and this is Alan. We live full-time in our narrowboat home, travelling the UK waterways. Recently we bought a tiny project boat that will eventually be an extra space for us, and in last week's episode we floated it for the first time. This week, it's our first cruise out in Little Rambler. Join us as we head up the river and unite them both. It's a clear sunny day. It's a, a little bit cool now, quite autumnal, and we're moving. We are moving to Burton-on-Trent to get some water. It's quite exciting to be moving. We're ready for it, especially on a clear, lovely day like today after all that rain. It was very, very rainy yesterday. We got and soaked. Windy. We got soaked, but this is going to be sweet, so let's be having you. <laughs> <laughs> Are they racing? <laughs> and who's winning? Paddleboard is winning. Thanks, Pete and Lucy. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, oh, they really are. For our boat socks. So nobody trips over our peg. So we're filling up with water, Emily's cycled back to the van where she's going to take it to Shodnell Marina and meet me at the next lock. That's Mark from the slush boat, go and check him out on Instagram, I think it's called the slush boat on Instagram. So there's Benny, we've got this lock and then we're going to be mooring up just outside Shodnell. So I don't know if Benny's explained but I cycled back to get the van, which was fine, it was really nice and sunny, really lovely bike ride. and then driven here to Burton and it started raining quite a lot. Anyway, it's fine. So the van is up near Shobnall Marina, which is where we're gonna put the boat. Yeah, and then we're gonna go to the little boat. So, Benny's just coming into the log now. That was so nice to meet Mark from the slush boat though. That was good timing. I was able to help him with the lock. He came down and now we've gone in. Good to meet you, Mark. Haven't been in a narrow lock for so long. It looks so tiny again. <laughs> So we've just arrived here at Burton-upon-Trent. We've actually parked up in pretty much the exact same spot that we did last year. So the boat's been in the water for a few days now. I got some help to sort out the outboard and get that working nicely. And I also took it for a brief test cruise. But today is the day of reckoning. I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Today we've chosen to get it up the river and get it at least to Sawley from Red Hill Marina. Uh, the river has been a bit higher but it's dropped again the last day and a half so we have decided it's a good moment to make the progress Hopefully. and get it that bit closer to this boat which is now in Burton-upon-Trent. So it's quite a distance. It, we're not doing that we're all getting today. Further. Yeah, you we're not, no, we're going to Sawley. I think Sawley's only a couple of miles from Red Hill, yeah. isn't it? So it's just that we have to go down the saw, so we're going with the flow on the saw, then there's a huge weir, and then we get to Trent Lock, and there's a junction onto the Trent, which is the way we're going. So there's going to be some weird currents. We've only got a tiny engine, but you said it seemed pretty good yesterday yeah, when you were trying it, it, it upstream. It pushes the boat well. We took it upstream. I wasn't so there. I was working, so I It can also do 360 donuts. <laughs> I haven't experienced Which we have it tested. yet, so yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be all right, let's be it? off then. <laughs> Arriving at Red Hill for the last time. Yeah. 
Are you ready to go for our first cruise on this boat? Yeah? Very nervous. It's gonna be okay, isn't it? I'm worried about rivers anyway. Now we're going on a tiny little bobbling thing with a tiny engine upstream. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to take my lucky rock with me. There's loads of them actually. Just take them all. Take them all. <laughs> Sinkers, won't it? You'll be Right, okay. Come on guys, let's go, let's go do this. It's now ten past two. The sun's gone in, but it's not raining. How are you feeling, Benny? It's your boat. I'm excited. <laughs> I wish I was just excited. I'm excited. Come on, have you got the chocolate? It's in my pocket. That's good. I'm putting my oh, lucky scarf on, got my lucky hat on. That's good. My pockets are full of rocks. <laughs> what have you got there, Benny? Some handy bits of wood. And, and the little stick. This is what we barge call, pole. This is what we call the little stick, because it it's our barge pole from the big boat. But it's so, it's actually very small for a barge pole. Some It'll fuel. do for the little boat. What's that? Fuel. Okay. She looks so tiny. Here we are. <laughs> Benny's just popping our anchor on. Got a cute little anchor for this boat. Which uh, makes me feel slightly safer. But a little boat just went past just then and I asked them what the flow was like and they said it's fine, so... Yeah, a bit, a bit more flowy than usual, but not too bad, so... Fingers crossed. So, show us how it works, Benny. I've never seen one of these in action before. Are you ready? <laughs> ready as you'll ever be, as they say. Are you feeling good about this? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be fine. But it's going to be fine. Okay, let's go. Let's go. It's quite fun. We're just going on tick over at the moment. But uh, yeah, it's fun. And the visibility is incredible. Hey, it's getting real now, Benny. <laughs> <laughs> so, so just far, so good. Just up here around the corner is a massive weir. And then past the weir is the Trent Lock Junction. I don't know if that's what you officially call it, but... So that's where the flow's really going to be. So we'll just have to see how we go. Ah, he's sitting down. OK, the weir is coming up. The weir is here. Got it on higher revs and it's going a bit slower, but <laughs> it's working out all right. We're managing. It's the Cranfleet Cut down there. That's where we were with Adam Lauren for a bit. It's going okay. This just seems like such a massive achievement. <laughs> it's like nothing, is it? But it's pushing against the current. Yeah, we're going against the current and now it's a bit windier as well. It's all good, it's all good. Me in the boat I know. 
Well, it's, well, touch wood, it's all run smooth this far. It's actually been quite relaxing and a lovely time. It's good weather. The river's very calm. Engines. Seems to be all right. Seems to be okay. We've made it to Sully Lock. <laughs> Yay! Oh. We're almost there. This is the uh, final dash for the lock. Yeah. But I've just realised that if there's no one manning the lock, um, I don't know if we're going to get through very easily because it's um, an electric lock and you need to have a CRT key and we haven't got one for this boat. We left it on the other boat. Fingers crossed there's someone there. Yay, there's a lucky. So happy we're off that river. It's like we're, it feels like we're kind of new to boating again. It's really yeah, exciting. It it's, it's so strange. It, it? Yeah, it's like, you know, you've seen us do hundreds of locks, but this is just, it's just totally different again. It, yeah, we're relearning everything, I think. But yeah, the steering with this is just totally different to the narrow boat, so. <laughs> do you want to more here or do you want to? While it's good weather and it's not too bad, do you it's want to try and get to go to, further, isn't it? We could go to um, what's the next bit called? Shardlow. Shardlow. Should we just do it? Yeah, I'm up for it. And Let's then just we'll, do it while we're, we're here. We're going to get a taxi back anyway, yeah. so we might as well just do it and get off the river. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Let's do it. It's like um, the car version of a boat. Like you can just nip round things. I like the portholes on that one. The eyes. <coughs> this is where we go back out onto the rivery bit, I think. It's like having a speedboat. Look how fast we're going. Yeah! This is insane! Because it's, so, it's such a small size and it's quite light, it doesn't even create too much wash. No. If you look, it's... No, it's not. Right, that was the day with mouth. Yay! He is pleased. He is pleased. This is awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're going to catch up ourselves in no time. Yeah, I know. Yeah. This boat bobbles around so much, doesn't it? Yeah. If you stand on the edge with the centre line, you feel like the boat's going to tip up. Now we're nearly at Shardlow, we're going to find somewhere to moor. Do you want this boat? Chip, can I have this boat, Ben, and you can have the big one? <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Good swap. There we are. All moored up. Alright, what's next? Time to celebrate. <laughs> celebrate. Let's get a celebration half and bring a taxi 
and think about what fantastic celebration food we're going to eat. I suggest pizza. Yeah, I'm up for it. Let's do it. Why not? Why not? Let's do a celebration tumble. Boo, 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 boo. No, Benny, boo, please boo, don't boo, do boo, that. Boo, 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 boo. Right. We're all locked up. And now we're going to get a taxi back to Red Hill where the van is. We've had a really nice cruise in the end. It was fun and we didn't want to stop, but we, we need to go and get on with some other things. I want to rehearse for tomorrow. I'm going to make some food. We need to put the video out for this week. So we have to stop. Yeah. It's been a good day though. Yeah. Um, it's been. Benny's got to rehearse because he's got a gig tomorrow, by the way. It was a lot less stressful than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's just fun. Because it's so small, it's like a. It's just easier, I guess. Yeah. Less boat to worry about. Right, I'm going to go because <laughs> I'm going to trip over carrying this and walking. Just waiting for the taxi. Quick celebratory half in this lovely garden. It's very nice. It's incredible here. Back at the van, just like that. I'd say that was a success. Pizza day, I mean, pizza time. Maybe it's time for us to sign out, or yeah. we're gonna do a pizza shot. We yeah. might show you the pizza. We, might, we, see pizza, we might not. If not, see you later. Otherwise, we're gonna be busy tomorrow, which is Sunday, and then Monday, we will be moving the little boat yeah. again, so that's probably the next time you'll see us. Yeah. Cha -cha! Almost forgot to show you our pizza. <laughs> and fear and loathing in Las Vegas. Well earned. Cheers, sweetie. So on Monday, we decided to move the boat and the van at the same time to get Rambler further towards the big boat. So while Benny cruised Rambler, I lock hopped with the van. I drove between locks and helped him through all the way to Willington, which was about 11 miles and five locks. It took a bit longer than we thought and we ended up getting to Willington after dark and the pub was closed for food. So we decided to get pizza to cook back at home. Unfortunately, halfway through cooking the pizzas, the gas ran out and our spare was empty. So we cooked a soup on Benny's tiny camping cooker. Morning. So Benny's just been back to Willington. He's got the little boat and he's nearly here. So the boats are about to be united. It's very exciting. I know that they're not people or real but um, I don't know to me it's quite a special moment I think it is for Benny as well so let's have a look see where he is he said he's really nearly here so I think I can see him in the distance he's made it <laughs> Roisin meet Rambler Rambler, meet Rasheen. You're gonna be best friends. Welcome. I'm here. Oh, look. Our mini flotilla is complete. Oh my goodness. It's happened. <laughs> it's happened. We've done it. We've done it. We've, done it. We've made it. <laughs> oh, they're gonna be best friends. Well, that happened quick, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Crazy. It's been a month. Oh my goodness. They don't, they don't have to be that close, Benny. Of course they do. <laughs> I think this is gonna be quite a regular view now. It's quite windy out there. So as you know, we have no gas. So the plan is we're gonna get both gas bottles out of the front of this boat, put them on a little rambler, take them to Shobnall Marina and get some full gas. I think we're gonna get some coal as well. Although it is quite warm today, it's going to start getting a bit cooler soon. So we're going to go get the gas and a bag of coal and then come back here. The great thing about Rambler is that because she's so short, it, you can just turn around really easily pretty much anywhere. So yeah, it's cool. I'm so happy that they're together. Anyway, let's go. It's all right when they're empty, isn't it? It's when they're full. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it! It's so cute! Oh yeah, they fit on there fine, don't they? Yeah, there's plenty of room. That's perfect. Oh! 
<laughs> what are you doing? Why? <laughs> and now what? Oh, you are going in? Okay. <laughs> you show off. You're having fun with your little boat. Okay, got gas, got some coal, and now we're taking the incredibly long trip. That was a whirlpool that Benny's just created. Back to the big boat. What do they call boats that they just use, like a tender? Mm -hmm. This is a tender, isn't it now? I, don't know what that means. I think it means like a boat that you just use to like get gas and stuff well we've already yeah it's already coming handy as soon as, as soon as we've got it here we're already using it <laughs> like that to move gas easy. yeah okay better angle come round. come round. <laughs> oh, gas bottle is in you know what that means don't you benny it's time for a second attempt on those pizzas <laughs> how saddening that was last night okay i'll get unrivaled in, sadness Pizza lunch, that's exciting. Got something to show you, Alan. What's out here? What's this? What's that then, Alan? What's that? Got Alan! Alan, come on, it's, it's our new hangout pad. She knows straight away. Yeah. Just said, it's pretty good. Oh, yeah, it's all right. What do you think, Helen? Impressed? Are you impressed? <laughs> Benny's already sanding it down. He's gonna start painting it very soon, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's here now. Straight on the job, aren't you? Straight on it. Try it, babe. <laughs> Yay for having full gas bottles again. <laughs> we don't normally have pizza for lunch. It's just, uh, obviously, because of what happened last night. La 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 la. What's next for you? Time to carry on. Are you painting your boat? So I'm going to do a coat. I found a dark red. I'm going to paint over the red bits. Emily bought a, another green for the two ends of this boat. So it's like a sort of like an olive yellow it's, green. It's actually called like a forest Rums green. green. Yeah, so it's like a yellowy green. So Emily's kind of let me use that tin. Because there's no chance I'm going to be It's painting. not going to get used till next year, <laughs> so I might as well just use it. And it's a really cool green. So I'm going to do the grey sides green. And then I need to paint the stern, but I'm still not sure what colour to do that or whether to just paint it black. And then there's the gunnels, which I'd like to paint different. And I'd like to do coach lines. And I'm thinking like gold and yellow. For the coach line. For them, yeah. For the nice. It's going to look cool. It's a bit of a life-changing moment really isn't it mm. we've got we've really i know that it isn't really a usable room yet but now uh, that it's with us i think it's going to make life a lot easier in a lot of ways but also harder <laughs> the moving is going to be interesting but i think because we have decided we're not going to be moving as far as we were before because we were always rushing for some stupid reason probably my fault always felt like we needed to get somewhere but now yeah, our vague aim is the K and A, isn't it? But like next year, we're going to just take it slower, aren't we? We're going to do like one or two miles at a time. Well, that isn't far at all. Maybe less than we used to do. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be good. I'm excited about doing the work. But I guess I've realised if I don't paint it very soon, the weather's going to change, and it won't be possible to paint it until like next Spring, April. Spring, yeah. So that's why I'm in. I'm in a bit of a rush to do the paint now. Because it's got, it's got a really good base on it. All you need to yeah. do is paint over it with top coats, don't you? You don't yeah, need to do any... Yeah, just need to do the top coats. There's a couple of bits you need to prime. I want to get it 
I want to get the worst looking bits done before the weather changes, maybe do all of it before the weather changes. And then when the, when it's wetter, then I can worry about inside more. Yeah. You know, just do this a bit. Also, because you need and to then take the windows I can out. start work. Yeah, because I've got to take the windows out, sand around them, paint them. So I really need some decent weather. And then once that's done, then I can get inside and, and it doesn't matter what the weather is then. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's mega. It's great, isn't it? And we've done a great job. It's took only took a month since buying it, and it's already here, next to us in the water, ready to start its adventure. So exciting. And there's another thing I'll tell you about now while we're rolling. A fellow contacted us, and it turns out he was the original purchaser of that boat in 1987. And it was called Cantabile, which is a Italian word for to sing or something. Singable. Yeah. Anyway, he got in touch and he sent us some pictures, which we'll show now, and these are photos of it within the first four years of its life. How incredible is that? And he sold it in 1992, and he sold it at Sawley. It's not really been it's very far. It doesn't seem like, yeah, it's ever been that far. I mean, maybe it got took out on bigger adventures, but it is quite odd that it's... It was in Willington when these other people brought it to Red Hill, which is only down the road, so it's a bit like, has it always just sat in marinas and in, Around, you know, yeah. has it always been moored? <clears throat> so in which case, we're going to take it on its big adventure in its midlife. <laughs> Very nice colour, Benny. Thank you. It's very, it's almost like this one, isn't it? But it's a bit brighter, I think. Look, he's done it. He's done below the gunnels. Yeah. He's gonna spin it round and do the other side now. Thank you so much. No problem. Right, now for the other side. How nice is that colour? Have you sanded this side then? Yeah. So you just tack cloth in it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Benny, it just, <laughs> just, I can't believe how cool it's looking already. Yeah, it's good. And he's just finished the second side. <laughs> yeah. Is that it for today? Yeah, it's gonna have to be. Got no more rollers, and I mean, it's probably about, what, half six or something. It's only an hour of sun left, I think. I think that's a pretty good start, just getting a bit done. Yeah. Nice one. <laughs> oh, that's that's way. You've done a good job. Yeah, I've missed a bit there. You've missed a bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> but it'll be okay. It's only a tiny dot. Cool. Nice one. Okay, that's probably it for today, guys. See you soon. Next week, we leave Burton upon Trent and move the boats together. It's just the start of our new adventures with them both. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode. It was really fun to cruise Rambler for the first time. Thanks so much for watching, and a special thank you to all of our patrons and everyone who bought us a coffee. We really appreciate the support. See you next week. Bye.
it's beautiful.